Welcome everyone to the latest and this week's edition of our IT and mostly in security news. Of course, as usual, starting with the latest and greatest <coughs> Intel Ice Lake CPU, maybe apparently allegedly uh, system crashing bug, but not so fast. I would say this is one website, a little bit clickbait, maybe. They write here, Intel uh, rather notorious for having system bugs recently, or like recently, aka the last <coughs> decade or so, Spectrum Meltdown, you name it, uh, recurring viewers might know the theme. But here's now some, however, it seems Intel is encountering some problems with latest Ice Lake CPUs when it comes to system bugs, JetBrains, Czech provider of software development tools, has a Java programming language development environment called IntelliJ. And apparently they report here MacBook Air 2020 here in this support forum and many people so far apparently affected. So it could be very well given that this is on a Apple aka hashtag Peakbox uh, Mac OS, what should I say? So although one website titles this here is Intel something, could also be um, Mac OS rated because near yeah, Peakbox, watch a recurring theme here, which I personally haven't purchased anything from Apple for five or six years. So they, the thing here is MacBook Air 2020 Surface, although Surface Pro base also actually, okay, I, then I take it back, apparently maybe allegedly also Surface Pro, um, that might be new. Didn't even see this yet, uh, Surface Pro. So if that is true, um, that it's also Surface Pro, so in case it helps, I was witnessing the same issue on a Surface Pro Windows 10. Okay, then maybe I take this peak bugs, although still peak bugs, but maybe the situation is really as um, as black as it sounds. So, yeah, so much to that. Um, so, what is happening here? Apparently, random system crashes, which certainly from user space for those who are new to this and my more main channel. Um, our regular in devs kernel, low-level hardware stuff, obviously with privilege separation and processors since uh, 1986-ish or so, 386, and uh, MIPS, Spark, memory, memory, memory management unit, um, kernel, and user space. Obviously, the experts among you know already that from user space, aka um, yeah, user, as in less privileged mode, you should not be able to crash and reduce the system and that is apparently what's randomly happening here. Um, so there is not a resolution so it may or may not be an Intel bug although um, all right actually there were another there was another bug. Um, another thing could be before we call this Intel CPU bug it could also be that it's an Intel GPU driver thing. So um, I saw some similar if you go there I actually spent an extra five minutes the other day. Um, it could still be, um, maybe there was even Ubuntu, so maybe it's like OpenGL, um, Vulkan, whatever, text rendering, blitting stuff, and which yeah should also not happen, but uh, something is buggy, maybe a driver, maybe the CPU. We will see in some days um, and, and what comes out of that. Um, in similar amazing news, uh, so device exploitation, we had this a couple of times. Uh, this is mostly a recurring, a recurring reminder that stuff is simply broken, especially this cheap plastic stuff here. After a long day of hard research, they wanted to have fun and relax, uh, kick back, do something easy. <laughs> as easy as in, yeah, what do you do if you want to do something easy? You, of course, dissect and analyze a Soho small home office router stuff here. Thankfully, Netgear support website hosts uh, all the firmware. Um, and they took a look, Binwalk, extracting the Binwalk, um, aka um, ex is looking for signatures for those who are new to this channel. So all the stuff usually set lip and, and X set and whatnot compressed. So this Binwalk scans for signatures and would print you like, um, hey, here is some uh, set lip compressed uh, firmware header, LZMA compressed data stuff, SquashFS, so that you can instead of manually having to look around there, get a nice overview and extract firmware, um, stuff like root file system and kernel and so on. And uh, of course, uh, interested there in some server mishandles, user inputs, a recurring theme of, for example, receive function. 
And of course, 1996 called, they wanted their vulnerability back. Recurring theme of C programming is hard and buffer over underruns uh, uninitialized data um, and um, other use after free and so on, the usual stuff. And following the user input, next looking at some check board ID function, uh, expect user input and so on, the usual details there. Most modern software, this vulnerability would be unexploitable. Modern software typically calls contains stack cookies, which would prevent exploitation. However, the R7000 does not use stack cookies. In fact, all of the Netgear products with a shared common code base, only the D8500 firmware version, something uh, used stack cookies. However, the latest version stopped using stack cookies, making the vulnerability once again exploitable. And uh, yeah in case you were wondering. And uh, of course, the biggest thing as usual, the recurring reminder here is that these companies are really slow to respond. And that means that it's like six, um, six months, I think, since they reported this um, in terms of um, at least as far as I remember. Uh, it was somewhere, but anyway, as usual, the vendors are slow to respond um, until the publication of this. They have not published any um, any update uh, patch and and so on. So yeah, which also probably uh, we should eventually develop generic like uh, firmware. But the thing is, of course, this is cheap vendor stuff. Um, similar to Android phones, like like entry level or often even higher priced Android phones where you don't get too many updates. But this is wireless router stuff, network um, attached storage stuff, all this random stuff running Linux. That is also the problem, right? That they, they all run some, yeah, done in your basement bring your own Linux stuff and then instead of like instead of some sophisticated Linux distribution for networking gear this is done in your garage in your basement and, and clobbered together of people who barely know how to run a compiler and yeah also recurring reminder from this and my main more main channel maybe we shouldn't do stuff in C with less buffer over and under runs and uh, yeah then probably 90% of the bugs would not even happen. In really disgusting news, hey.com says Apple is acting like gangsters, uh, rejecting App Store updates and demanding odd a cut of sales. So apparently this um, Hey app, uh, some email client, is um, already in the App Store. I guess from the summary, I'm personally not using this, um, but apparently from they say you remove from the app store, so I, I would assume it's in there. And in the latest update, similar to our software, right? We have like software and stuff, and we are out of there for also many reasons. And similar to their reasons here, that Apple is behaving. Someone on Twitter wrote, "Apple is behaving like a landlord um, that is always um, each each month threatening to in, uh, evict you." And um, that um, yeah can can end your uh, life or business um, throwing you out there and um, asking for more rent or something. Um, but so yeah, so what's what's this? So it's an email client, and they have some subscription, some ninety ninety dollar a year or whatever uh, for some premium email service whatsoever. And they only apparently, as far as I followed this news, allow people to pay them directly. And what Apple basically say is. Um, we, by the way, this is super disgusting. Let's see um, um, where was this um, was taken something. Where is it? Um, so basically, Apple said you uh, you bring too little to the platform and you need to add um, subscription. Where was it even? Darn. Um, what's it be? Um, Rejecting a bug fix update, asking, but yes, they also the thing similar to our exact scan previous video. So we are similar, our self effected. Um, what I said, a bug fix similar to us, bug fix update, and then like, hey, we, sh we cha changed the review policies, and now you need to, in our case, a file safe dialog for each 
document scanned and saved, which is so, uh, so obviously hilarious. You don't want to confirm 100 um, save as dialogs for some paperless office scan software. And also, like the developers can't do what they want. They have an app, they want to ship it like this, but Apple says no, you do differently, although they have the uh, biggest hashtag peak bucks, right? But um, so yeah, similar to us, um, and also this is maybe iOS or whatever, rejecting the update and um, commit to adding in-app subscription to prevent it from being removed was taken back by how brazen, uh, brazen that threat was, uh, they said, and um, they thought it was supposed to wrap the threats in or something, but it was pretty clear. So um, also um, they doubled down on this. So Schiller or so somewhere in some interview with during Fireball or something said, uh, no, we, we don't, don't change anything. We are here in the rights. And this is similar to, as uh, there are so many issues, right? I, I discussed this to no, to no end. I could actually, or maybe should for clickbait, make a dedicated vi video out of this. It's hilarious. And why I um, brought um, our company should certainly can show you that it's still here mac app store we are out of there why we're leaving the app store and all its problems too long didn't read uh, manual updates review apple cost delay and drama yeah like we every 30 percent rejected for a duplicate icon we don't like the screenshot you can't link to your website because you sell it there too all the shit happens right uh, apple takes 30 percent which is certainly super a lot right you sell something for 99 minus v vat 20 percent minus apple so from 100 euro dollar sold you maybe get 54 ish um it's hilarious 30 percent even even if they would take 10 it's still a lot uh, like it's, it's still basically hundreds of millions um and um and so on and the issue with this is that nobody asked for this right similar to hey and us and others if we don't like this handling we should be able to sell it ourselves which on the mac is still somewhat possible on the iphone obviously not and why i um this is not a free market anymore right so and also since the 70s or even longer it was possible to sell software and nobody nobody in the software industry asked for a wallet garden of uh curated stuff and the problem is i have nothing against a wallet garden so i have nothing against if they want to do an app store then they can do it but allow developers to sideload it what is the issue on a website like hey.com downloads a freaking iphone app like it's supposed to be and don't call security and viruses because recurring theme here you have viruses and malware anyway despite apple's review um, because virus and malware not detected by apple they basically they approve malware and virus games and copies and whatnot, but not legitimate software. So basically, um, I agree it's Apple's right to do whatever they want, but it shouldn't be a closed computer. It's a freaking effing personal computer, no matter if it's disguised as a rounded rectangle patented iPhone or an iPad um, or soon ARM Mac. And um, they can do this, but there should always be a no questions asked sideload possibility. And I also um, have my griefs with, with, with this um, Apple notarization on the Mac, because then this is not even still a free market, because Apple can still reject each uh, signature, and sometimes there is drama and stuff. And you still, which is also hilarious, I think you still need to pay 100 euro a year. It's not even the 100 euro, it's just out of principle that they still have this. You need to sign up for this developer program, which we can kick you out of, to sign this notarize as a software. Uh, certainly, this is not how it should be. And don't call this malware and viruses. This is bullshit. They review nothing. They use it simply like a, uh, like a... Um, landlord on steroids to rack in as much service money as they can and say basically we have so, seen it so many times um, cryptocurrency mining uh, malware and, and everything past this Apple's review this is pure money making anyway um, so yeah they write also right here well literally stunned Apple just doubled down on their rejection of the hey, ability to provide bug fixes and new features unless we submit to their outrageous demand of 15 to 30 percent of our revenue even worse and again i totally agree with them um, and this is also disgusting when you open mac rumors there are so many people um that uh, cite 
with Apple. This is so, I really wonder what is wrong with those people on normal users that um, I quickly uh, accept or go away. Um, so I have so many rumor coverage that, um, where is this? Hey, thing? this is already scrolled away. Oh, also, why is this X? Um, where would it be? So if if we ever find this here on this Ed Laden website, um, I really wonder what is wrong with a uh, show full article. No, oh, God forbid. Um, older posts. Ah, here is um, probably that um, will not uh, change decisions there on hey email app. Also, this is also the new Apple, right? It's user friendliness no no more. And um, they just double down on their outrageous uh, wallet guard and stuff. Um, here, like I'm on the Apple side on this one, and I'm an iOS developer. Like, what the heck? Why? And also, even so, even if you are a small developer, and um, first of all, you could have always sold the, sold the stuff. Basically, my my stand on this is Apple just eats into the revenue of every software developer, which is outrageous, right? If Microsoft would have done ever something like this with Windows, people would have been outraged. Speaking about um, crapware here, uh, people would be outraged, right? There would be an antitrust lawsuit. Um, but with, with Apple um, developer siding uh, there with, with Apple, um, it's hilarious. Um, and people also like, even after a decade in, people still like users still didn't understand after even like this are power users this is not joe users this are power users and even power users on mac rumors don't even still understand the basic rules of could apple develop uh, app developers offer two prizes website prizes and app prizes uh, yes you can but you cannot show it to them right you cannot have a note there uh, by the way it's cheaper on our website or something um, and you can't even in the App Store description link to, hey, we also have a nice website, right? Like in our case, even already eight years ago, like long time ago, Apple censored our, it was even, it was, was not even, hey, you can also buy it there. No, it was in our case, exact scan, don't delay, try paperless office scanning today. It was just compatible scanner stuff. So not even buy it there, but only, hey, there is a list of compatible hardware stuff. And even that, no, we can't, can't link it there because uh, you also sell it there. It's like, thank you very much. But um, yeah, many people here are citing here it's Apple's um, Apple's uh, choice there. Like maybe some say, uh, yeah, some say. Uh, oh, certainly, I agree. Rightfully, I hope the EU slams them for this. But um, um, yeah, also some people like like really. How comes the fast mail app is not required of for in-app purchase? There you see also Netflix and stuff. But um, yeah, this is uh, the new, brave new world. Um, you asked for this, you didn't vote, or maybe you, but many people didn't vote with their wallet and still, um, as we see here, defend Apple. Um, yeah, also um, people saying, yeah, but Apple is providing services and whatnot or payment. The developers are not even asking for this, right? This, hey, only this, this is, just Apple's locked system and they want only to distribute it and not use the payment stuff and lose 15 to 30 percent of their revenue. Um, and again, why should Apple get this right? If you have a website and can develop, have a web server or use other cloud services, it's not rocket science to distribute software in 20, uh, 2020. Um, yeah, here, like, uh, clarify here, uh, hey is not compliance with the App Store rules and Apple has given hey very reasonable ways, like no, this is not reasonable, like give us 30% or 15 to 30% of our money is not re reasonable to get in compliance. Um, I really wonder, and also there you see, this is the issue when you allow a company to have such a wallet garden, to be such kind of a landlord of you only go past the store or um, take the red pill and otherwise but um, yeah not amazing stuff um, leave me in the comments what, what you think but I totally don't support this kind of stuff we went out of there and also 30% is a lot of money whether you are Microsoft and it's hundreds of millions or if you're a small developer and it's hundred thousands even if it's ten thousands like you 30% right you sell and people don't this is why I always cleared so precisely um, People don't understand this. Imagine, would you, if 
if you earn 30,000, would you like to give 10,000 to someone like Apple or would you rather have it for your family? And similar, if you're a small business, if you have a turnover of 100,000, would you rather have 30%? Would you rather have 30,000 for your business, for your, like, Louis Rossman and me and stuff, for your employees, for b improving your infrastructure, for having support and freaking advertising it gets in my... Um, anyway, um, yeah, would, would you want to give 30% of your... I mean, you certainly pay taxes and stuff, but on top of taxes, right, you earn 100,000, you pay taxes, you pay Apple, and from 100,000 you only have 30,000. It's People need to think about this, right? And this is why we should not allow this, we should call it out what it is, um, and what was your wallet, and yeah. In similar news, um, Apple Pay and iOS App Store under formal antitrust probe in Europe. Um, applaud there, can totally, like, as I said, if this is what would be Microsoft or Google that had antitrust probes, uh, people would be outraged, right? If Again, if this would be Microsoft Windows, people would be, this is hilarious, this is uh, disgusting, this is, uh, they are uh, scumbags and stuff, but at Apple it's like, hey, it's just, wonderful people there in, in their spaceship in Cupertino. Um, Apple is under formal investigation by antitrust regulators and this was before this hazing, right? Um, in the European Union following a number of complaints related to how it operates in the iOS App Store, um, also payments offerings, Apple Pay, that they're concerned of the conditions restrictions applied by tech giants. And again, you can't even use your own device, right? You wanna, you are up, you are fed up of peak bucks and want to bring your own software or just want to tinker in your garage or you want to recycle some old iPad for some, um, like, what, what, what you can, right? You have an old UMPC or netbook, you want to use it as an environmental control, heating, aircon, light control stuff, screw to the wall, you can do it, except if it's an iOS stuff, then you can't, you don't get updates after a couple of years and you can't even install your own software, right? Um, unless you, you know, jailbreak it and stuff, but I said it a hundred times, if you buy it, not lease it or rent it, if you buy it with like premium money, you should fully own it so that you can install your own software and um, not rely on Apple's digital signature. It even goes as far as if you want, want for um, vintage and retro reasons, like you're a YouTuber and make some history of how this iOS stuff developed, you can't even flash an old version of iOS if unless you crack it. Um, because Apple, after a couple of weeks, they stop signing old versions because each update, in case you didn't know, they digitally sign, communicating to Apple servers, so that, like with this jailbreak, after a week or two, you can't load the previous version, like jailbreak compatible. Um, and yeah. Anyway, brave new world, and yeah, leave in the comments what you think about this. In similar amazing news of quality software and services brought to you by Oracle and their subsidies. Oracle's Blue K tracks you across the web. That data spilled online billions of records exposed. Raise your hand if you even knew about Blue K. Uh, first time I heard about this, but can't. So many companies tracking you online, can't probably know all of them. But um, yeah, there you have it. Owned by Oracle, the most favorite lovely software company, right? Um, have you ever wondered why online ads <coughs> appear for things you were just thinking about? Big conspiracy, blah, blah, blah. Oracle, uh, tech giant, Oracle um, uh, is one of the few companies that are near perfect at the art of tracking people. So <laughs> thank you very much for that. And one of the startups, Blue K, which Oracle brought for a little over 400 million in 2014, is barely known outside here. I certainly didn't know about this, which well, you need to shout it out here. Um, largest banks of web tracking data outside the federal government uses web cookies and so on, but um, now they really know telling how revealing some of its data can be, says their staff technologist EFF. Um, and also, um, yeah, like can do data bases, right? Um, um, Detard says you can now run Android on iPhones. Well, I think this was, um, uh, well, run and run, right? They um, certainly without GPU isolation, but yeah, um, but only 
in my opinion, it should be like officially, you should be able to officially root it um, always, whether it's your coffee machine or a thermostat, but um, it's only because of hacking this open, right, due to security vulnerabilities, which also thank you Apple for this, but um, yeah, probably uh, the this, this, this state of driver is certainly not amazing, but yeah, you, you can due to jailbreaking, but which is also certainly something Apple is actively working against. Um, what else? I think this was some database stuff. So this was like, um, where was this even? Uh, trackers, trackers everywhere. Um, where was this even? I think this was like open database. Um, whatever. Um, somewhere, not, not immediately visible. Do they even write it here? But um, detailed rise, a bootloader was compromised. Yeah, this, um, but in my, my point, my point is another uh, that we, we, but certainly this needed years of, uh, but basically, so for initially the very first generation of iPhones, you could jailbreak and I boot Linux. Um, my point is it should be officially like, it shouldn't be like at the end of a lifespan of after four or five years of update, you should still be able to do whatever you want with it. That is my point. It should be from even an Android like Sony, um, um, whoever, even Google or whatever, whatnot. Certainly many Android stuff you can unlock, but not necessarily always. My point is it should be by like even law that even Wi-Fi, which even ironically previous videos, the government, even in the EU, actively regulates now for non-modifiable radio firmware. My point is if you own it, you should always be able legally um, by law to install whatever you want, like sync generic Linux for even on a Linksys previous video assess point to bring your own stable maintained uh, Wi-Fi routing Linux or BSD or whatnot. And um, yeah, in similar amazing update news or whatever, Blue uh, 2020 Blu-ray player uh, power cycle uh, whenever plugged in um, was working fine the other night and some 77 pages and hundreds of pages. So yeah, over 2020 overnight your Blu-ray player bricks for either amazing or not amazing firmware, um, maybe some date rolled over or not sure if they had a firmware update, it's not entirely clear. Um, funny is here solved, go to the solution. Um, I clicked here be before the video because certainly the solution was not there the other day. The sol I was wondering what the heck, where is the solution? Um, apparently maybe this might be the solution um, um, that little bit confused about where to find the solution. I'm new to this community. Uh, community manager, click to the link, view solution, original um, post. It's really a solution of simply acknowledging the issue. Yeah, this, this, this is completely hilarious that the solution um, is simply, where's even the freaking solution? Ah, here. So this, yeah, so this is the, the solution. So basically Samsung closed this with um, like official solution. We are aware of customers who have reported an issue with boot loops on some Blu-ray players. And we are looking into the, uh, this further. We will post an update here. So yeah, the, the solution is we are aware of the problem and we will maybe post an update. It's like, what, what solution is this? Um, but yeah, 2020 companies don't even know what they're doing, and, and it's like yeah, so not not clear obviously yet um, whether a software update breaks this or also yeah the same issue uh, happening across other devices. Given that is so many devices, I would expect more some timer overflow of whatever timekeeping maybe, but it could also be that they um, flashed there some firmware update over the night and breaks this. Anyway, that's uh, this quick update for today. Um, again, maybe some devastating uh, Intel uh, Ice Lake CPU system crashing bug in cases is as real as it sounds here on this IntelliJ forum. Um, we certainly have to keep an eye on what's going up with that. Um, wouldn't surprise us the most, but um, not yet entirely clear. It would certainly, yeah, I wonder if the next um, mitigation of, uh, I don't even know what they broke of conditional jump stuff of J, JCC era atom of previous times, but also, um, yeah, amazing open, open source um, with crappy firmware stuff, um, the usual stuff and certainly the most 
recurring theme here of yeah, Apple. I said this before, Apple is not your friend. People always think, hey, Apple is such a lovely comp company and best friend. No, they are not. Um, and um, they, they are a money-making machine. Um, in my opinion, um, all soul has like all the good, well, like good and good, but I mean, st certainly Steve Jobs was not the most pleasant person probably to deal with. At least say he probably was the one thing he probably was somewhat um, somewhat um, focused on was usability, but otherwise certainly also profit and being a jackass at times I heard. But this kind of soul certainly left Apple in nowadays. Um, been counting Tim Apple there at his finest of and also, this is not their core business, right? I mean, their core business was hardware and software. Now their core business is eating 30% of other companies' revenue, right? And this is, I find it disgusting, this brave new world of services, services, and services, and, and taking from everyone, it's like, yeah, this is, this. yeah, anyway. Um, leave in the comments, as usual, leave in the comments what, what you think. Um, People there, um, what, multi-PC, Spark Station 5, what you saying, there's something, something, Java Station, or Xbox, what you, bootloader, what you are, what, uh, why are you posting all of this, you will pick up nerd, um, anyway, that's it for today, I hope you learned something and um, appreciate this weekly IT news updates, the biggest pieces. Still thinking about this format, I said this already a hundred times. Um, certainly not yet the most successful um, format here. I mostly keep it going for um, spreading awareness of uh, major developments here in the IT industry that I think go certainly wrong and havoc and that certainly we try to do better and help you with us work on this to better this but the big companies apple microsoft google facebook certainly not doing anything for um making the world a better place in, in contrast they only certainly for their shareholders maximizing the profit and um, why um, some of the stuff in my opinion yeah um one last word I said this before, but 30% missing at all the developers. I would say the 30% is certainly better. Um, the 30% of this revenue is probably better spent at the developers and their small infrastructure of uh, developers and support and not be because this 30%, right? So this is the 30% of this App Store revenue is missing at families, at small developers of like your local community and taking like like a octopus <laughs> from um, like like a like a virus from from um, like a parasite. I would I would even call this app stuff a parasite parasite or how it, how it's pronounced. And like moving everything only to enrich the richest and and parking it there in the, the tax heaven of of uh, whatever islands and. Um, yeah, to, to people doing all the hard work because Apple does very little, right? They don't promote, they even, on top of this, they even want more money for promoting your search. And um, this people, some people here, some users, uh, sometimes, um, so I did a close this already, maybe, um, some users always say, but all the Apple services, this Apple App Store distribution, this is next to nothing, right? This is a shady web server delivering you stuff and you can't you can't say, hey, you get so much value, you, you get nothing, you get no marketing, you don't get any PR, like um, like some local Best Buy, even if I would sell box software at 30% at cut at Best Buy, probably they would do more magazine <laughs> printed newspaper uh, advertising for their uh, catalog there for the inventory and Apple is doing like basically shit, like basically nothing, right? Um, and um, details, are you still off the App Store? Yes, we are. Um, well, I, I kept some stuff listed there a little bit, but basically um, the, the sales dropped there 97%.
probably still have some residual stuff as long as it as long as Apple is not throwing it out completely. Um, but I had this open, did I? At least I think. Can also change this. So yeah, we are not there anymore. It makes more sense, um, and certainly I much more appreciate um, this. Oops. Um, certainly appreciate. 30% um, more here, um, bringing content you, to you, employing hopefully soon uh, new people, maybe a video editor and uh, uh, you know, this is this is the difference. If you have 30% more, you can get a nicer like Louis Wolfsman, like 30% more, get a nicer office, get nicer people, get new developer, get do marketing support and so on. This is what is for the users and it also either indirectly by developing, having a better infrastructure, like 30% nicer office, more developers, new PCs, everything is indirectly for the users making better software or directly, either indirectly with improved infrastructure and stuff or directly with more support people, um, more um, developers improving the software and so on. So, but yeah, certainly Apple, no, nobody should argue with the right state of mind that Apple needs money urgently and they should better sell their freaking software not rake and 30% of us. Anyway, um, long story short, um, this is also, I, I would also in general not really support this in, in other um, app stores. Um, in, in the irony is of course, now we continue a little bit as, as when this topic is already more than done, but the irony is of course, I probably should make a dedicated video about this, that Steve Jobs himself did not even plan this, right? The, initial iPhone didn't have native apps and only came with web apps, right? And then people were screaming, we want native apps, but people only, a decade ago, people were only asking for native app development. They were not asking for a freaking app store. This was only Apple's uh, keeping a tight lock on there um, for the security and the children um, when people only ask for native app development. And in retrospect, I have to say, um, if Apple refused, like Steve Jobs and Apple, if, if they would have refused and said, no, we do an app, maybe the world, maybe this would not even be too bad if we would have, the future might have even better, although uh, web, web OS and web apps are not the most snappy, but if instead of this, nat uh, this native app business, we, the world, the community, the developers would have focused on only on mobile apps that would even be uh, platform neutral, you would have one which certainly exists, but if if web mobile apps would be amazing and we wouldn't have like JavaScript just in time compiled, snappy graphic performance and even like maybe this local caching and like not, not as much web connectivity, but like local caching, like local apps, like totally amazing snappy web like local like WebGL, like Web, web Vulkan, a uh, Web 3D, whatever, um, and 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 Web Assembly and and so on. We wouldn't have the problem. We wouldn't have the issue of Android and iOS uh, market separation and fragmentation, and we wouldn't have the 30% issue. And maybe everything would even be more amazing. But yeah. Anyway, just a sort. Um, that's it for. Um, Detail says man of your words. Yeah, so this um, I could. Um, I'm certainly also not going back like this, but um, I could give an update on um, on the state of uh, sales. I'm not sure if that would be so. Um, but so much said. Exact scan is uh, this year. Exact scan has done pretty pretty good for many reasons um, and I'm pretty happy that we have 30% more on um, our investment front here of uh, a nice uh, 3950X Ryzen stuff and investing this in, in future stuff and hopefully soon more people and um, also uh, new office stuff uh, in, in like Lewis Rossman style. <laughs> Leave me in the comments below if you want a Lewis Rossman style extra code hunting for new office um, reality uh, show here. But um, yeah, also in general, the state of IT SUC with all the vulnerabilities in general, I also have SUC massive investment in making T2 Linux super great, more amazing than ever again. Um, because simply because I can't work with peak bugs 
Mac OS anyway, so um, it's not like it's giving me any value in, in terms of crashing and, and frustration and um, it's hilarious. Anyway, so as usual we digressed a little bit, um, but leave in the comments below what you think um, of this concept. Um, I'm still uh, need to think how to, yeah, certainly maybe not as digress as much, but uh, and maybe it's of value for some people, but um, maybe I need to make this shorter. I said this already a couple of times, just like every, every day, not as much time, but um, on one hand, I certainly see that the views are not doing the most amazing here for this kind of news. On the other hand, I want to spread awareness because so much stuff is just as broken and insecure that p normal, normal people need to understand what kind of insecure and broken stuff they each day use on not only macOS or Intel CPUs or certainly Microsoft Windows, um, but also their wireless routers and cellular towers and banking systems and government databases. And so on one hand, I want to share this uh, spread this news on the other hand yeah views now nah, maybe but um, details are looking for the new office yeah so certainly uh, you see the office is a little bit I, I basically can, can only film at one corner because the rest of the office is full of stuff and I shuffled already um, and like basically always when I do a vintage retro episode then I need one hour of sorting stuff around here so that people can work the next day because otherwise it's just too chaotic here and and certainly it i certainly realize that the youtube videos that i try to build as here a, a, a second stuff of, of um, future possibilities um, certainly would look nicer if i would have a nicer um, scenery here which um, right now it's like yeah there's some scanner and there's some chaotic desk and there's some other and yeah. So basically I've, I feel one corner that is like somewhat sorted and yeah. Also this this office is hot like um, hotcakes and uh, the, the crappy aircon we had broke now after 10 years that we had running the, the hottest um, days. Um, it's the fourth floor, it's, it's the last floor, the last floor, the fourth floor, it's south there. Um, so it's super bright and super hot and um, and um, yeah, so not ideal in terms of heat and size and um, yeah, anyway. But that's just a recurring, um, I see, but you shouldn't make crazy investment in these times of, yeah. Uh, exactly due to that as cheap skate as we are is where we are still sitting here. Um, I'm, I'm certainly not moving this year, but like long term, like one year um, and certainly uh, Louis Rossman style of prices might fall so yeah certainly not um, this month or this year but time will show and uh, certainly yeah, you, you need to think big right uh, like your own micro kernel and uh, whatever stuff but um, yeah pr also by the way I probably will reshuffle some stuff here so uh, hopefully in, in latest months I, I hope I can use another corner in the office and sort some stuff around so just to make this YouTube stuff because we're certainly taking YouTube seriously with over 5,000 subscribers on the main channel and um, that's it for today <laughs> as usual but yeah totally agree shouldn't make it probably um, as bad as, as it is for those people who need to sell an apartment office or stuff but or cancel rent and the prices go down but uh, certainly I would also say most prices are totally inflated and, and, and bubbled there, bubbled up. So, uh, so much to, yeah. Similar to Apple's landlord kind of situation of, of collecting the money there in entrance to the App Store. So, yeah. Anyway, big plans, big stuff. Um, and, um, yeah, let's see what time brings and what security. But one, one thing, one, one last word on topic is um, with, with one, one thing for sure with this kind of bug so first FPGA ASIC development you certainly want formal verification if you if you YOLO this stuff like ah yeah let's let's put there some gates and end and nor and X or whatever uh, Verilog style and then you probably end up like an um, 
buggy um, buggy and security issue laden uh, Intel CPU. And the other thing is, if we continue uh, writing C code like it's 1996, then we will not fix the security stuff. And um, I tried to so uh, sticking detour thing, sticking to my word. Actually, you might have realized with um, the company name being Extra Code um, here, uh, shameless plug, right? Um, ironically, um, where's even here's. Ironically, um, certainly the the program is already in the name, right? Ironically, we, this is to some degree what we wanted to do. Um, when we found it, so basically, certainly extra code was not the, the first name. We had a couple of, like, like we were doing C++ template stuff, like generic, whatever. So it, we also were thinking like generic code was taken, um, and 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 many many others. So I don't even remember. It's uh, 15 years ago, 16. Um, extra code was not the first choice. It was just the first choice with a domain name and and not not trademark registered. But certainly the idea certainly was like to write and deliver more reliable, more stable code like C++ um, templates and um, um, more generic and, and so on, um, higher um, quality, higher re reliable code. And here we are. Um, and a fun fact, we usually, we usually don't really write C code um, in Commercially at us or in projects, we usually have nearly never written C code except when we had to patch other stuff like work in the Linux kernel, uh, work in GCC, uh, glibc, um, uclibc, uh, diet, <laughs> dietlibc. <laughs> um, and yeah, so C and other scripting languages, you name it. And the, there you see, after 16 years, um, here we are. In the future, in, in this brave new world, where in this connected world, where everything is, everything and your CPU is increasingly buggy, unreliable, and insecure. And this is a crazy development than 15 years, two decades ago, I could not imagine. And we are still writing C like it's 1996. It is really sad. It's probably a good closing note. Um, let's see, yeah, uh, by the way, uh, speaking about how is it going for you, I hope it's uh, going well for you too, and um, maybe should drop an email or call eventually, which by the way my coffee is cold. But that's it really now for today, um, which, um, yeah. It's doing, uh, this year is, uh, despite the crisis and stuff, uh, thankfully for us doing relatively okay. Um, so yeah, thanks for that. I hope also it's going well for all of you. Um, and uh, I hope this video and content also for all the educational content on the main channel helps other people to learn something uh, similar here to other YouTubers sharing information because I realized when I just do our small little projects here, we are not making the world better at a fast enough pace that seeing other YouTubers like Louis Rossman sharing here stuff, trying to contribute to the community in anything from software to hardware, um, C++, Rust to, uh, Rust <coughs> to uh, Verilog and FPGA um, and, and other surrounding social like App Store. Um, IT developments and um, I really hope more people vote with their wallet like telling Apple hey that's not okay um, we don't accept this we don't want this and um, but not only Apple also other Microsoft um, Zoom or Intel CPUs whatever the case might be and um, in case you can use this knowledge to base upon this, learn more, and certainly this, this and the main channel's educational content certainly can not replace a university, but inspire you to learn more Google or uh, DuckDuckGo search more on Wikipedia and stuff and make a degree and, or make a degree or not, but make a living of hopefully 
creating better IT solutions and fixing vulnerabilities and security stuff and installing stuff so with firewalls and stuff that it's more secure and not an open database like oracles where was it blue k whatever stuff of uh, yeah you name it anyway um computers every aspect of life now and keep getting more insecure yeah, this is also um yeah i wish i had more time at least i cloned myself now so in maybe whenever junior hopefully gets into it i have uh, someone to help making the stuff more secure but <clears throat> until then see you next time i uh, need to go uh, we digress a little bit and um, as usual probably i should digress less and make this more compact probably maybe even single content i said this already so many times but then uh, after days we have here some stuff i have already compiled a list of dedicated topics so um, stay tuned the next days for maybe some one topic discussion only uh, say i only spacex and nasa for example maybe but also others so maybe some 10 minute 15 minute videos of just discussing one topic maybe that is more successful um, for people to have some topic to focus and tune in um, and in general we really need um, yeah take companies more accountable and the problem even on the android side is certainly the fragmentation and that all the vendors clobber some random half working stuff together being being at huawei um, or even google or something or not even yeah not samsung not vanilla or android but their own touch ui whatever that yeah each android vendor has its own ui skin whatever and samsung internet and email you name it it's it's hilarious anyway certainly need a double and triple facepime for that um yeah take care everyone hope you're doing fine despite all the crazy stuff going out there and um, stay uh, secure and healthy and see you soon for the next videos and live streams to come